Hi, I'm Scott Stein, and I've been reviewing iPad keyboards and keyboard cases for a bunch of years now. I feel like since the iPad first came out. And they're useful if you're going to type a lot on your iPad. Even though you can type on that screen, it's nice to have a Bluetooth keyboard. And your options are to go with a detached one or go with one that comes in a case. And the Logitech Keyboard Folio is sort of the perfect example of why keyboard cases are great and keyboard cases are maybe not so hot. Now, it's interesting because Logitech made a really fantastic gadget. In fact, hey, it's right here. It's the Logitech Ultra Thin keyboard. And this was reviewed last year. It's really slim. It docks in really nicely, very portable. Keyboard feels great. It's really hard to beat. Now, what did Logitech do with their latest? Well, it got bigger, it got bulkier. And in adding that case, you can see here, it's become almost like a mini laptop. And the iPad docks into this via this flexible plasticky rubber bracket, uh, magnets secured at the bottom of the case here. It can stay in one position, or it can fold flat for, for plane travel, or it can fold back around into a kind of a, a book type form. Now, this is 1.38 pounds for just this. That's about the weight of the iPad itself. So you're doubling the weight and you're really doubling the thickness to get a clean look, but it, it's, it's really so bulky that uh, you, know, you wonder why it needed to be this way. Now, for maybe for institutional use, for kids, because it has a nice sturdy you know, feel. You feel like you could take a, take a beating and, and still work. Um, it might be really useful in that regard. But the keyboard is a little bit different. And it's interesting because Logitech seems to experiment each time with little tiny tweaks to the keyboard, even though they had a great solution here. The keyboard has rounded, slightly convex keys. If you're a keyboard fetishist to, like me, that means that I found I didn't really hit the keys quite as solidly as on the ultra thin keyboard cover. Also, the layout is a little bit different. They did some compression here to try to create uh, larger and wider key spacing. So you can see caps lock and tab keys have been combined with Q and A. Theoretically, that's fine, but it creates a sense of a slight shift to the left. So I found I was fumbling for keys a little bit more than I normally would. Those are minor quibbles. One of the advantages here is, hey, there's a nice little loop at the front that accepts a stylus if you're really into styli or capacitive paint brushes. Yes, there are those. Uh, all told, this is a lot better built than most keyboard cases that I've seen. There are some that feel a little flimsy, and there are certainly some out there that don't have that great a set of keyboards to go with them. So Logitech is still above average, but I think there's a little bit of a disappointment. If you really like a sturdy set on your iPad to go typing, then take a look at it. I'm Scott Stein, and that's a look at the Logitech keyboard folio available in black and several other colors, also for the iPad Mini.